Hey everybody, Outlier here, and it's day 12. Made it to day 12, and I guess I would be feeling good right now. I'm still, it's been a heck of a two days, past two days, and uh, I'm still very tired. Oh, I'm still very tired. Um, but unfortunately, I had another early morning where I had to get up, go out, and do something, so that's why you don't see me with any juice in front of me. I've already taken my first dose. Um, and I, I just got to say that you, it, it was a good day yesterday. It was a good day yesterday. And, uh, but you need to be careful when you're on this diet, um, as you're doing your juicing reboot, because it's very easy to overexert yourself and be extremely fatigued. So, uh, just a word of warning, just like know your limits know your limits know what you can do know what you feel comfortable with doing because you know it's easy to be it's easy to have a lot of energy or feel like you have a lot of energy and then do too much and then just be riding on fumes for the next uh for the rest of that day so uh just be cautious um when you're doing this you're not getting the same amount of calories one that you used to get and you're not getting the same types uh you're not eating the same types of food you're not eating the same types of nutrients you're not eating carbohydrates uh that supply your body with fuel you're just getting like straight plant nutrients and vitamins so it's a bit harder um to kind of tap into that energy reserve when you're not really putting that type of stuff in there anymore uh, and I have the as you do this it, it the reboot the juicing reboot looks very nice and very glamorous uh, from the outside looking in before you start um, I know when I was watching the documentaries it seemed healthy it seemed quick it seemed easy uh, and it is not it is healthy um, but quick and easy, it is not. Uh, especially with your juicer, like, I, I'm to the point, the, the novelty of juicing has worn off for me. And I'm to the point where I am sick. I am sick and tired of juicing. Not necessarily the, the act of putting healthy nutrients, plant-based nutrients straight into my body. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I'm talking about the actual process of juicing with the prep and the grinding up of everything and then the cleaning oh I hate that it's 45 minutes to an hour every single day and there are days when you know especially if you're the average person like I am you got to go to work and then when you come home from work it's like oh that's right I got to juice before I can go to bed tomorrow and that cuts a chunk out of the time that you get to sleep and rest so that wears off quick i'm not even done with two weeks and already i'm like i gotta do this for another over two months this is crazy so i'm kind of i'm kind of to the point where i i, I just want to be like screw it i'll just buy like gallon jugs of naked juice and just go but th that's not a good thing you can't do that because uh you don't know how long you don't know what ratio well, I guess you do kind of know what ratio that you just put in there, fruits and vegetables, but it may not be the ratio that you can personally do that's the healthiest for you. You may not be getting necessarily getting as many vegetables as you can on your own. It can get expensive. You don't know how long. Um, well, I guess you do if you got an expiration date, but you really don't know how long uh, that juice has been sitting in that bottle, so the nutrients could have already mostly deteriorated while it's sitting in the bottle just because it's outside of its natural form for an extended period of time. So while naked juice tastes good, be cautious. There are other things in there that you don't put in your own stuff that they put in there. Uh, not necessarily bad things, just like extra stuff. Like sugars and yogurts and all that other kind of stuff that you may not need for this diet. So. But all right, made it, made it, made it to day 12. Proud of myself. Is it day 12? 
wait, 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 it's not day 12, is it day 12, it's, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, no, I'm day 12, I was right, day 12, day 12, so, um, thank you so much, uh, for joining me, if you're on your day one, congratulations, you have made it to day one, you are taking the first step in a really, really healthy decision, to change your life for the better and I applaud you so much for that uh, you have the curse to take the first step and most of the time that's all that's needed well <laughs> that's the beginning of what's needed con to continue on your journey if you on day 12 you are a gridiron iron man and I applaud you even if you do the augmented diet like I do which is just like fruits and water a lot of water based fruits like watermelon uh, cantaloupe, honeydew, and, and vegetables like uh, cucumber taste great, very good for you. Also, a really good way to get your water for the day if you don't like drinking water, like I don't. Um, if you're anywhere between day one and day 12, congratulations! I'm glad you made it that far in your journey, and I am so supportive of you doing this and your decision to do this. Uh, and if you are on day one, and you want to journey with me uh, just go back up to the top of the playlist and start from day one and just rev up these videos every day that you start you know I usually record right after I wake up that morning so I can talk to you first thing in the morning and have that experience before I take my first dose and give you the real realistic true uncut relatively um, version I only say that because I may be like uh, mm, uh, ah, and I would cut some of those out if I felt like I paused too long so that's the only thing I really cut is dead time um, and I want to be as truthful and as honest with you guys because in the documentaries they don't tell you these things uh, in documentaries they make it seem like it's glamorous sort of and they cut out some of the lower parts of it and you know I want to be honest and tell you guys about it like how you may start not moving your bowels for two to three days because you're at a time because you're not putting anything in and when you do oh boy it's quite the enlightening experience but I'll tell you guys all about that on day 13 because I don't want to gross you out today so um, thank you so much I support you I love you I thank you for supporting me in this endeavor uh, you can always come back and, and watch these videos you can always uh, let me know what you went through in the comment section below so it's a documents uh, cheers salute uh, and I forgot I keep forgetting what that third one is I need to go back and watch my own videos figure that one out but um, just bottoms up and I look forward to seeing everyone on day 13.